morning guys so I got a really long day of doing nothing so I figured I'd do a review video of this Volvo loader this is a uh, L11OH or L110H I don't know uh, made in Sweden 250 horsepower we got skitter tires on it with a root rake and a grapple tires are filled with water got 4,000 4, hours on it um, well you'll see there's old sheepdog but anyways there's the loader let me back up so you can see the whole thing all right 250 horse like I said it's kind of a big boy it does a good job um, this is for we use it for land clearing Root raking, as you can see, that's what we're doing today, actually, with it. But uh, one thing I do like about this loader is um, it's the the steps. They um, have this like rubber. I guess I don't even know what this is. Is this rubber? It's sort of rubber for the bottom ones. Um, and that kind of over time, they've kind of got kicked in, and so when I step here. I don't have to worry about hitting the bottom ones. When I step here, I don't have to worry about hitting those. I just jump down. But anyways, going up is easy. And then we hop up in the cab. Alright. Move the steering wheel down. Alright. That's what we see. So here we have a parking brake. Where's my hand? There's my hand. Parking brake. Gear selection. Forward, reverse. And then, you know, gears. Wipers. Blinkers, have you used that? Don't know what that is. There's your four ways. And there's this contraption. All right, got a forward reverse, a forward reverse. I don't know why they have two. Forward reverse, and then another forward reverse. Um, a whole bunch of other buttons here. Lights, accessories, you know, like all that kind of stuff. This is what happens when uh, you're on the phone and uh, a stick goes through the cab. I actually bent the, the cage on the outside. The cage is actually right here, as you can see. The cage is what actually did it. A tree came through here, but a cage is, the cage is also bent, so it's not repaired. But anyways, let's fire this thing up. Here, I'll show you that. That def, yeah, I must say that def better go up. <laughs> All right, I let it, I let it sit there for a second. I'm pretty sure it has hydraulic brakes, so the parking brake will turn off, but um, it'll have low brake pressure, which means it just don't have any brakes. So we got a cool backup camera, works pretty good. Um, I normally aim that um, rail of the the rear bumper, and aim that um, in the middle, whatever I want to back up down. Got a bunch of mirrors. They're kind of, I don't understand those two. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really see anything that this one doesn't cover. I wish I had that one, I'm not gonna lie. I use that mirror a lot. But, um, all right, let's go get to work. You can call me weird if you want, but I always wear my seatbelt in this loader. Um, I don't in end dumps or any, pretty much anything else, but this loader I have found Especially with these skater tires. Man, it will beat you up. It will bounce around. It will cause hell. And I found that just buckling the seatbelt kind of keeps me planted in my seat a little bit better. Alright, so that is something to think about when you hop in one of these. Or any loader, really. Um, don't just buckle the seatbelt and then sit on top of it because that's what everyone does. And it might actually be nicer to, to ride with the seatbelt on. If you're off-road, I'm off-road, so we just got to clear out that notice. The um, when the uh, window over here actually got hit, it also damaged the windshield washer fluid tank. Just crushed it in, and so it can't hold washer fluid anymore. So every morning it tells me it's low on washer fluid. But here we go, back into the abyss. There you go. Can you see that? It's really hard to see with that. Oh, there we go. Well, let's put your way up there. 
So that's what we're cleaning today. Um, we cleaned that back part yesterday so the dozer could push that piles up. Um, but we're gonna be cleaning it over here today, finish cleaning up. Um, we don't have a lot of work to do today at all, which is why I decided to make this video. I have to clear like, I have to do like an hour's worth of work, make it last 10 hours, or nine hours, leaving that early today, nine hours. So, we'll see. There's a Volvo hoe over there, the little guy. And these bell trucks. I haven't decided if I like these bell trucks. They seem smaller than the cats for some reason, but they still hold 25 yards. I don't get it. I can fill a bell truck with three grapple loads. I don't know. I just don't feel like I can do that with a cat. But this right here is the mess we're going to be really focusing on today. That should be flat and clean of all debris by the end of the day. So I'm not going to lie. I really wish I had like a cell phone mount. I could like mount right here or like here and you can see how these these buttons work so these obviously control the uh, the root rake and the grapple and everything um, so let me just flip the camera around all right so this one is actually backwards um, from what it should be um, if you push forward it goes up if you push pull back it goes down now that's normally that would normally be very annoying but my first time on a three stick system that's what it was I'm okay I'll let it slide and also it does this right if you if you pull back if you pull back right it, it closes the, the top comes down the bottom comes up right so so I, I do like that because I do load trucks with this loader and pick up a lot of stuff carried around. So that kind of makes it easier, right? Um, obviously that is just raises and lowers the arms. Um, it does have a float. It is a, a decent float, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it doesn't, the one thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have a click. Like on a dozer, it'll like, if I remember correctly, at least there's a click, right? Like you, you push it forward, and it has like this, 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 this. It hits a wall, it hits a wall, and then it goes through it, right? Oh, did this one just do it? Did I just? Oh, it does have a wall. If you really, if you really, that, that's float. Okay, I guess it does have a wall. Um, I'm just used to cats, so I guess whatever but uh down here too we have our lockers which <laughs> when you lock this thing in don't plan on turning because it just it goes whatever whatever it's already done we have all our lights here um you can see, i don't know if you can see them but they're up there we've got some leds they're actually really bright i like them um and then our our beacon obviously but we don't have one on here because that got ripped off like everything else so basically what I'm going to do today is run this with my right hand, left hand, because I have to hold the camera with my right hand. So just kidding. But basically, see down there, right here, and right here. That's what I get to see all day long. And I base everything on that. See, we're gonna flip this, and get the dirt out, and that's all, that's, that's why I look at all day long, right there, right? So, there are some flaws with this Volvo. Some huge, huge flaws that actually, in my opinion, make this the worst loader I've ever operated. Hands down, hands down, the worst. And I'll take an old open cab cat, an old open cab TCM, open cab Cowie, and I live in Florida, over this, and I will try figure out a way to film it the re the main reason why it's 250 horsepower and it can't push the hydraulic smoothly even at full throttle at full throttle um if you've run equipment you know what i'm talking about that there's like this bucking like the whole machine is our bucking and it's all because the hydraulics aren't feeding smoothly most of the time 
it happens when I'm coming, uh, backing away from a truck and I'm trying to pick the rake up and bring the arms down at the same time. Um, but it's just not enough hydraulic pressure or fluid to do both things at the same time, to flow away, flow to, all that kind of stuff. So that in itself is the most frustrating thing about this loader. Got plenty of power, plenty of traction. Um, you know, it, it, that stuff is fine. It's the, the steering wheel, you know, the ergonomics, other than this thing, this armrest and the three sticker, it's a great cab. The layout is nice, roomy, very roomy. Um, that the hydraulics though, Bubbles got to put a high flow on here. I don't know what the hell is the difference, but they should have 250 horsepower should be pumping a big enough pump that it should never need. I mean, there's there's two pistons, two cylinders on the um, the root the grapple. One, one cylinder pushes the, controls the root rake, and then two cylinders control the lifting and lowering. So if you have anything more than two cylinders going, not enough hydraulic pressure. Really, you, you isolated movements. You can, you can move one direction at a time, which is when you run equipment, you'll, you know this, like it's kind of annoying. You need like at least two movements at one time, right? To go up, right? Come down, turn around, shake it all around. Um, another issue I have is this three stick system. I don't like it. I like a joystick. I, under I think I understand the ergonomics behind the three stick system because I don't like sometimes I'll just zone out and I think it's more of I've been on this machine for a long time, put a lot of hours on it, but like I notice just my fingers are moving just my fingers not like no no wrist movement right so that what is that um, repetitive motion injuries things called carpal tunnel something like that you could get that I guess with a joystick right but with the three stick it's more just your fingers are moving my biggest issue though with the ergonomics is this armrest does not come up well it comes up like that but um I spent hours one time trying to figure out a way to bring this armrest up. Does it just keep coming up? No, it just keeps falling down. That's the thing. Um, I actually added this towel here to give my arm a little more elevation because I was actually having major muscle pain um, from my arm was actually kind of holding, holding my elbow up all day long and major muscle pain to the point I couldn't even move my arm uh, after 50 hours roughly 50 hours at a time running this I would need to take two days off guaranteed like could not work weekends um, I go home I can't even do my other stuff I need to do um, add the towel seemed to help um, I'm also running the machine in a little more different of an area um, but regardless three stick mm, it needs work I can un I understand it especially since I'm off-road a lot um, we're not driving on nice smooth surfaces at all ever um, and bouncing around it just your arm stays planted and your hands your fingers just grab the, the levers very good um, I think that they could even do them do these levers smaller and they could accomplish a, the, the task better I don't think they need to be so large because they're, they're large enough that you sometimes, you you know, you, you, you feel like, well, I need to use my whole hand. Um, sometimes, I mean, they're, they are easy to throw and stuff like that, but you, I mean, you can throw them one-handed or one, with one finger, but um, kind of like old dozers with your fingers, like I feel like that, that system might work a little better or just have like a ball like you know, like those mouse, those mouses, the the uh, the mouse that don't move. You just move the ball in the holder. That might work too. I don't know. I still like my joystick. It's 
that's what I learned on. So obviously, you know, equipment operators are creatures of habit. Um, that's what I like, but that's not what I get. So uh, until I get my joysticks back, um, and I'm joysticks, dose sticks. I have a steering wheel here too, so that's another issue. But whatever, that's not that's not a big deal. I just don't like being in loaders, I like being in skid steers and whatever you call them, compact track loaders. Yeah. But uh, this is a, a, a decent machine other than the hydraulics, and that is what makes this the worst loader I've ever ran. Um, simply because it runs, like the hydraulics are the, from this loader is, is the main feature of this loader. Like that's the main thing that this thing does is pick it up and down and move it all around. And if doing that causes the, the machine to, it's almost a failure. Like it just doesn't do the task it's asked to do over and over and over again, can't have it. And then on the flip side, randomly, um, the machine will actually just like have super hydraulics. And it's normally when I'm like at an angle on a pile or something like that, picking something up, picking up a scoop or whatever, and I'll go and I'll, I'll, I'll put the, the arm down, the, the grapple down or whatever you want to call it, the root rake, and it'll just keep, I'll let go and it'll keep going. And I actually pick the front of the loader up off the ground. And I'm like, mm, what's this about? Because it won't do it now, right? Right? It won't pick the loader up. But the second I'm in a precarious situation, this loader's like, super hydraulic! Rah! It moves super fast, gets kind of sticky. Um, everything is greased every morning. I don't want to hear anything like that. I don't know if anyone would say anything like that. But um, things don't stick on this loader. It's from lack of grease. Okay, I put it, I go through about a tube of grease every every two and a half days. Almost, I think it's almost. You know, no, because I don't even do have the load on the, on the on the third day. It's two days. I go a tube of grease lasts me two days, um, and I grease this thing front to back, back to front, up and down, all over the place. Um, it's quiet. Don't have any squeaks, but it does stick. It seems like. Um, and I think it's more electronic. Um, there's been um, some fires, but I gotta go. All right, so the dozer operator is here finally, um, which means I have to get to work and stop chatting for a little bit at least. Um, just gotta clean this out for him. And then he'll, he can push the dirt out the way while I take the debris go ahead and hide it somewhere I guess we'll see how that goes mm -hmm. 